everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. So, we are standing out in front of this, it's like, passage. We have all three spiritual stones, and we're supposed to be going back to Hyrule Castle, but I wanted to make a quick stop here first, because this is Lon Lon Ranch. It's going to be playing an important role soon, but, uh, not soon enough. Well, actually, really soon. Uh, alright. So what we need to be doing is coming over here. Yeah, um, uh, I won't be, um, well, never mind. I was gonna tell you something, but then I'm like, nah, yeah, that's correct. So if we come over to this girl, we've actually seen her before. This is Malin, again. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Hehe. <laughs> dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Hehe. <laughs> Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Horse? Horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Yeah, she just kind of runs off there because she's a bit scared of us. But um, if we pull out our ocarina, uh, if we pull out our ocarina, okay, okay, you know what? <clears throat> oh, come on, I know this works. Okay, I swear, this works. If you pull out your... Oh my gosh. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm not going to be doing that. Well, that was just a crap load of time wasted. But um, what we're actually going to be doing here is... Is before we go to Hyrule Castle and continue on with the story, we're going to be going to get another song. Yeah, we're going to be going, you know, all the way to Kakariko to get one. And the reason I wanted to come here to Lon Lon Ranch is because, um, you can't actually get a song here, but apparently I can't. But that song's not important. It will be, but it's not right now. So, you know, just forget about it. Alright, so we don't want to go too close to the castle because that's where the story's going to be progressing. But where we want to be going is... Over here. As you can see, the sky just got dark, and uh, it's okay, that's normal. Alright. So if we go back into Kakariko Village. Ignore everyone here. Ooh, let's try to hit the chicken. <laughs> Uh, the thing to note about Kuko is that if you hit him too much with any object, anything that can hurt them, such as your weapons, or your so-called toys, because I happen to think the boomerang is, in fact, a toy, if you hit a Kuko like, I think it's, okay, that was weird, if you hit a Kuko about six times, it'll, like, go berserk, or whatever. And pretty much try to kill you. And this here is the graveyard. Got a little kid stomping around. Let's take a look at him. Whoa, that is, that is creepy. Little kids can't go on the heart-pounding grave-digging tour described on the sign. Since I can't do that, I'm just imitating Dampe the, gra the, yeah, the gravekeeper all day. Well, with my cute face, I'm not heart-pounding at all, am I? No, not really. There's going to be this, um, side quest that, um, god, I cannot talk today. There's going to be this side quest that, um, ah, that uses him. So what we need to be doing is coming over here, playing Zelda's Lullaby. We haven't been doing this in a while since I haven't been making a video in a while. But, as you know in my last video, about a week ago, I had, like, a fever. It's gone down, like, a lot. So, that's nothing to be worried about. So, if we... So, while we wait for this to occur... Whoa! <laughs> the, the tombstone kind of just exploded. And this song is going to be helping us out tremendously. You really need this song if you want to be going through all the side quests and mostly the game. Yeah, it's that important. In the royal family's tomb, there are some keys hanging around here. There's a pile of bones over there. Maybe I'll check it out. But when we defeat all the keys, the door opens. 
Alright, so let's check out this pile of bones. Shine light on the living dead. Oh, okay. I guess they're not really talking to us. And Abby's kind of just imitating what they're saying, I guess. Okay, now in here. Everyone. Everyone. I know. Well, no, okay. Everyone I know on the internet hates these enemies. What these enemies are, they are called Redents. Okay? They are basically zombies. Okay, what they do is they freeze you and you can just go behind them and just kill them. And they give you magic power. But one thing that I find so disturbing about Redents, well actually two things I find disturbing is that if you kill a redead, it's the living redead will walk up and actually eat the dead redead. I am dead serious. And then when it just goes away, they just like disperse or very slowly. Now the other thing that I found that I find incredibly disturbing is that if it lets you freeze it long enough, it will actually go on, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but it will actually rape you. I am not kidding. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. Even though I can't read that. The rising sun will eventually set and newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Yeah, but what's more interesting is a song that is inscribed on the tombstone. It's a secret melody of the composer brothers. And this is the sun song. It pretty much is like... The Song of Passing from Wind Waker, only it's much easier to play, because you don't have to go through all that crap to try to find the, the four notes buttons or whatever. So, that's pretty much it. Alright, so you've learned the Sun Song. And, you know what, I think that's going to be doing it for this video. I mean, I know you really want me to complete the, you know, continue on with the story, but for now, we're just going to be cutting it off right here in this tombstone. So until then, thank you guys for watching. I will see you back next time at Hyrule Castle, where we'll be finally completing the story. Alright, see you guys then. Well, not completing it, but progressing it. Well, you know what I mean. Bye.